Yeah, I'm back at it again. I just, y'all, I can't stop making videos, man. I just, I can't, I can't stop making videos because I know, I know I keep saying, I know I've been, you know, up, back and forth, I've been making videos and deleting them, then making more videos and deleting them again. The reason why I deleted my videos this time is because, man, it's like, y'all, like I have a, I have a history, like I, I keep telling y'all over and over again about, you know, the, the, my past and the videos that I, you know, the videos I used to make in the past and everything. I just, like, I don't really like making videos like I used to because of the shit that I went through in the past and how I always was going through. I mean, honestly, y'all, when I was making videos in the past, like the videos about when I was that I was making in the past, like the TFL type videos, honestly, I was going through a lot more bullshit than I am now. Like the videos that I'm making now, like I was I had way more trolls back then than I do now. And you know, I had people talking about me on forums and this, that and third, you know, like I don't really I'm not really going through that going through that stuff anymore now with these videos, but back then i was and that's kind of the reason and, and also you know my videos was getting re-uploaded to a specific channel youtube channel that i don't want to name i'm pretty sure most of y'all know what it is but well maybe not most but some of y'all know what channel i'm talking about but some of those videos was re-uploaded my old videos and they're still up they're still posted on that channel to this day um my old videos and you know you know i was making like videos in the past that i shouldn't have never made you know that i still regret making making to this day um but yeah man i, I decided to come back man because i i just need to really get some you know get shit off my chest man because i just I, i've been really feeling i still been feeling bad y'all like i just you know i still been feeling really you know depressed about just this whole you know tfl bullshit black pill shit whatever you want to call it you know it, it, it shit this shit would really really bother you man it just it really just day after day man you just get sick and tired of just the same thing over and over again man just just being alone you know i'm trying to i'm trying to cope like i said y'all i'm trying to i'm trying to cope with 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 you know the fact that i can't you know get what i want as far as like you know you know me wanting asian girls and shit i'm trying to i'm trying my best to trying to i'm trying my best to deal with it man you know the best the best way i can by you know like i said doing my hobbies like i i still make music and you know i, I don't really play video games as often as i used to because i'm always you know working and you know i, I get occupied with making my beats and stuff so at times i don't really um find the time to really get into playing video games but i still like playing video games i just don't ever really find the time to do it um but yeah man like i i'm still like this shit's still bothering me man I, i'm still feeling lonely you know wishing that i could get you know an asian girlfriend man it's like that shit will just never happen man it's just like it's just a reality that i'm just gonna have to just deal with man it's just it's just never gonna happen like it's already hard trying to get a girl of any race but it's even harder trying to get an asian girl because you know number one i'm not i'm never really around asians like that and also you know i'm too afraid to approach girls you know so i can't you know i'm too afraid to you know put myself out there and approach females so i can't i can't get girls by approaching them because i'm too afraid to do it you know girls don't approach me so therefore i'm just left alone man you know i'm just i'm just stuck but um you know man it's nothing nothing has really changed since since the last time I, I posted a video man you know still working at this 
at this restaurant. I'm starting not to really like this restaurant like that anymore because it's just it's just kind of getting on my nerves. Like today, man, it's just it was just really just getting on my nerves, man. Just certain people get on my nerves, and I feel like certain people like to like to take advantage of you, you know. And I don't know, man. I just have mixed feelings about this job, man. It's 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 all it's an all right job, like like the type of work I'm doing. The the pay is the pay is okay. I won't say it. it's not bad, but it's not it ain't it ain't the best. Like it's just a R eight. It's like it's just a R eight job. Um like it's enough to pay it's enough it's enough for you to have you know, for you to pay your bills and whatever, but it's just a decent job, you know. I'm still trying to find something better though. Um but besides that, man, you know, besides working, besides working, man, I ain't really doing much else. Just, you know, still making my my beats or whatever. Um, you know, I, I have another YouTube channel that I don't want to, I don't want to tell y'all. I don't want to, I don't want to give y'all the name of my other YouTube channel. But there's another YouTube channel where I post all my music and I post other artists, like my other favorite artists and stuff, and people that inspire me. I just basically like make music videos like basically if i like a song by by an artist i'll post that song with like a visual or something in the background to match you know the uh the vibe of, the vibe of the song and i do the same thing with my beats I, I post my beats and add visuals to it and stuff i've been doing that for the past like three four years now and i have a lot of subscribers on that channel but i don't want to give y'all the name of that channel because i you know because i i don't want i don't want trolls and shit to be on that channel and i don't yeah so i'm gonna just i'm gonna just uh not tell y'all the name of the channel but uh yeah so i i post videos on that channel and i post my I guess my TFL black pill type videos on this channel, you know, like I, I just had to come back, man, because I just been really feeling bad and I just needed and I don't have nobody to talk to, you know. So I just felt the need to just come back and come back on YouTube and, and just start spilling this shit out, man, because I just don't have nobody to talk to at all. Like, I just have nobody. I, you know, I, I was thinking I was going to try to go see a therapist but um that shit is just too expensive man like 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 i was going to try to see a therapist and i found out that to um to get a therapy session if you if you was to pay out of pocket you would have to pay like a hundred and i think it was like a hundred and thirty something dollars for like 45 minutes like hell no fuck that i ain't no nah, i'm not doing that shit no nah. So yeah, I'm just going just my therapy is just it's just YouTube man. So I'm just gonna to continue to make videos, you know, whenever I whenever I feel the need to, like you know, like now. Um, you know, I just been like I said, y'all, this this whole, you know, me wanting Asian girls, man, this, this shit this shit still still bothering me, man. And um, you know, I've been going to my only copes for you know not being able to get asian girls is you know like i told y'all the massage parlors but honestly y'all sometimes the massage parlors isn't really enough because you know when you go to massage parlors man the women in there a lot of those asian women in there are, are mainly like middle-aged asian women and a lot of them aren't really that attractive like you're not really gonna like when you go to a mas if you've never been to a massage parlor before, don't expect to get a massage from a, a young looking Asian girl because you because you're gonna be disappointed. I mean, you may get lucky, you may find maybe a one Asian girl like that's kind of sort of young at a massage parlor, but um, nine times out of ten you just you, you going you you you're not gonna really find nobody young you're gonna find a lot of the older looking asian women but some but but, but i'm not gonna lie some of sometimes they look pretty pretty decent though some some of the some of the old middle-aged looking asians they look somewhat decent but um yeah for the most part a lot of times they don't really be that attractive 
Um, so yeah, man, um, but I'm still, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna go to massage parlors anyway, because, you know, fuck it, you know, um, I don't have any other way, I don't, I don't have any other, any other avenues as far as finding any type of attention from an Asian girl, so, massage parlors is my only option, unfortunately, but you got to be careful, though, because some massage parlors do illegal activities. As a matter of fact, there was a massage parlor um, that I that I that I was thinking about going to, and it actually got raided. So, I guess due to I guess because it was people doing illegal activities in it in their illegal acts. Like sometimes people do go to massage parlors and they get more than a massage, and if you get more than a massage, then that's considered prostitution so when you go to a massage parlor just be careful man because some places um do more than massages and you can get in trouble for, i mean you can get in trouble you, you might not necessarily get in trouble if you're not doing anything illegal um but if you if you happen to be in there and you do something that you know you're not supposed to do then then you, there's a high chance you could get arrested so you know, I'm just going, I'm just trying to, trying to find massage parlors that are, that are more legitimate, you know, because I'm not even, worried, I'm not really worrying about getting any, any extra, any extra favors at a massage parlor, like, I'm cool with just getting a regular massage, man, because all, because at the end of the day, man, all I want is just a, a nice, decent looking Asian to just, you know, touch up on me, fill up on me, you know, and, and, and I'm good, you know, I, you know, as long as she's not, like, hideous looking or like like super unattractive then you know I'm, I'm i'm good i'm i'm good so i mean but at the end of the day at the same time though even even though i go to massage parlors sometimes like i said sometimes it's still not enough because you leave and then you still feel the same you know it's like yeah you got a massage you, you know you got a little bit of attention from an asian girl but you know, at the end of the day, you you still gonna go home, you know, lonely and shit, wishing that you still had, wishing that you had an Asian girl that that will always be, you know, with you and around you. You know, that's that shit is only temporary. I mean, that's that's just that's just like you know, if you wanted to see an escort or a prostitute or something, you know, if you just wanted to go just for sex, you know, you'll get the sex, but then you'll, you know, go back to, you know, still feeling like shit again, but, um, but I understand why people do it, because, you know, it's no, it's, 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 it's hard trying to get, you know, sex the right, the, the normal way, so people have, feel the need to have to pay for it, you know, and I, I'm not, and I don't, and I don't blame them, I really don't, um, but, uh, yeah, man, I just, I go to massage parlors, man, that's just, that's my cope for not being able to get Asian girls, um, but, like I said, sometimes that's just not enough, but, like I said, it's better than nothing, so, even though, even though that, even though it ain't nothing, I mean, even though it ain't enough, it's something, it's something, man, it's like, it's like fucking crumbs, man, you know, it's just like, it's, it's just like, you know, instead of getting a whole meal, you're just getting crumbs, that's how getting them going to a massage probably is, you know, and and getting a whole meal would be getting an actual Asian girl. And the reason why, like I said, I, I put so much emphasis in on Asian girls for those of you who are new to my channel or n never watched my videos before. I just have a thing for Asian girls, man. I, I really, really, really like Asian girls. I don't want no other race of females but but Asians, you know, and I don't and I don't want people to think that I'm you know, some, you know, I, I have like some type of weird, bizarre fetish for Asian women. It's, it's not that. I just, I just find Asian girls more attractive than any other race of females. You know, I just, I've always had a, I've always had a fascination with Asian girls, man. Ever since, ever since middle school, I, want, I think. Yeah, since like 2007. I've always had a, I've always had a crush on you know, I had a thing for Asian girls, man, and I and I just I just I just been hooked on Asian girls ever since. 
ever since I watched that TV show called Ninja Warrior, man, I, I just always had a fascination with Asian girls. And I've always, I mean, it didn't even, it's, it's not even, it's not even, um, like, I like, I have a fascination with just Asian culture as a whole. Not even, not even, it's not even just Asian girls. Like, I, I like just Asian people in general. Like, I just like the culture. And I always wanted to go to Japan ever since I was little, ever since I was in the third grade. My dream has always been to travel to, you know, some type of Asian country, preferably Japan or China, one of those places, you know. You know, I just I just hope one day I'll be able to travel to one of those places, man. I, I really do. Um But yeah, man, I, I I'm I'm stuck on Asian girls, man. You know. I'm still stuck on them Asian girls. So I know I'ma have I know I'ma have it a lot. I know I'ma have I mean, it's already it's already hard trying to get just girl of uh, a girl from any race. So me limiting my to myself to just Asians, this is gonna be ten times harder for me to find somebody. You know, cause it's kind of hard for you know me as a black person. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to you know find an Asian girl. I mean, even though there are Asian girls that that like black guys. It's not, it's, it's, um, even though there are Asian girls that like black guys, I mean, even though, what am I saying? Um, fuck, I just, I just had a brain fart. Um, my mind just went, my mind just went blank for, for a minute. Um, yeah, I was trying to, what I was trying to say was, like, it's hard, it's hard for black guys to get Asian girls for the most part, but, it's not impossible like there are you do you do see black guys with asian girls so it's, it, it is possible to get an asian girl as a black guy but i mean i understand that you know most asian girls prefer white men you know and blah 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 you know i i, I get it y'all like i, I know somebody gonna say that you know you know that it's gonna be hard for me to get an asian girl because i'm black i i, I know i know it is you know I, and but i'm not but even though it might be hard it's not impossible you know so but even but even but even um but it's like i can't even i don't even i'm too afraid to even approach girls approach girls so the chances of me being able to get a, any girl period is, is is slim to none because i'm just not putting myself out there you know i'm not approaching you know so it's gonna be hard for me to get a girl a, any girl period um but yeah man i i just i just wanted to make a little video man because i just i just been really feeling like shit man and um you know i'm still i'm still going through it man and shout out to uh the youtuber will uh well, well, he he changed his name to. He had two different YouTube names, but he he changed his name. He he put he changed his name back to the Rejected Prince. Shout out to uh to to the Rejected Prince if you watching this video. Um, shout out to you, man. I I I really love your videos, man. Like your your videos really help me out a lot. It, it helps me get through the day a lot of times. You know when I'm feeling down, especially your live streams. I love the the live streams that you do, man. Like I really, really love those live streams. You know, I I just I really I really fuck with your shit, man. I really do. Um. And like you kind of motivated me to that video where you was approaching those girls, man. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you did it, y'all. Like that, you know. I don't know how how you do it, man. You know. Cause I, cause like after watching that video, it kind of motivated me to want to go and, and try to approach girls. But man, once I, once that's another thing, man. I, I just, I just can't approach y'all. Like, you know, like I, like as soon as I, as soon as like, I, cause I work in a mall, and I, I see a lot of girls. Well, I see a lot of female. Like this mall is kind of diverse, so it's like a, it's like a mixture of all different races. But like I mainly be looking for Asian girls. So I'll be walking around the mall and as soon as I see 
a girl of any race, just any girl, I just start getting this rush of anxiety, man. I just I just start to get nervous and you know anxious and I, I just I just can't do it, man. I, I just don't see how guys do it. I don't see how guys approach females, man. I just don't see how they do it. I just because I, I can't fucking do it, man. Before I could sometimes approach sometimes, but now I just can't approach at all. Like you couldn't pay me to approach a girl, man. You just couldn't. I just can't do it. I I, I can't do it. I I can't do it. But uh, yeah, man. It's, it it just it just sucks, man. My my reality and the shit that I gotta go through, man. Every day, day after day. You know, dealing with this lonely shit and being alone and feeling lonely and shit, man. It just, it just, it just fucking sucks, man. It just, it just gets old, man. You know, like I just wish I could just go back to being a little child again, man, a little kid again. You know, when I, you know, the years when I didn't give a fuck about girls that much. You know, when I was little, I, you know, I, I, I wanted girls. You know, I, I wanted a girlfriend. You know, I mean, I ain't, I didn't I didn't really care about girls as much as I do now, but I still, you know, I still wanted some female attention, but I wasn't really worrying about it as much as I am now. You know, I, I wasn't I wasn't really like all like obsessing over it like I like I am now. Like now, you know, I'm 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 a grown ass man now. Like I'm almost in my 30s. I'm 20 27 years old now and I'm still you know, still in the same boat that I've been in all these years, man. Like I've just never had any type of success with females. Like I, like, like, yeah, I did date a, I did happen to date a, um, an Asian girl before, a Filipino girl, but that didn't last. You know, so hold up, y'all. But um, yeah, y'all. Like I, I just, I had to pause for a minute because somebody was walking past me. But um, yeah, man. I just, I just never really um, I just wish I could just go back to being a little kid again, man. When you know the days and the times when I didn't really care about females like that. Like all I was really worrying about was just you know video games, cartoons. You know, just worrying about, you know, kid, you know, children's shit, man, you know? I wasn't really worrying about the shit that I'm worrying about now. You know, now that I'm an adult, man, you know, you know, you you really want, you really want, you know, female companionship, man. Like, at the end of the day, that's all I really want. Like, I'm not really worrying about sex like that. I'm not really, I mean, I will be lying to y'all if I was telling, if I was told, if I told y'all I didn't really care about having sex. Like, yeah, I want sex and everything, but I'm not, I'm not really, like, crazy, I'm not, like, losing my shit about not having sex. Like, I'm not going crazy about not being able to have sex, because one of the main reasons why I'm not really worrying about sex like that is because I have a, I have a, I have a sex doll, so I just use that, you know, to please myself. So, I know it may seem, it may sound kind of weird, but y'all, like, I'm telling y'all, like, if y'all if y'all having trouble you know not being able to get sex you know and all that stuff and you just sexually frustrated get you a sex doll save up save up a couple hundred dollars man and get you a, get you like a torso because that's what i have i don't have a full life-size doll i just have a, a torso where it's just a, a um i have like a 50 pound big ass like torso doll like it's, it's literally a, it's literally a big ass like it's a big ass it's, it's a 50 pound like bubble butt and it's and it's soft and jiggly and it's big and that shit is huge man it's i think like it's like 48 or 49 inches that shit is big man like like it, it's like like the s is like the size of like the like, like like them instagram models you see on instagram like like it's it's that big it's, it's like that and i'll be fucking the shit out of that thing man I be using that to please myself because you know I can't get sex from a real female so and it feels and it feels fucking good y'all I'm telling y'all I know like I know I know it sounds crazy I know it sounds weird or whatever but fuck all that shit man that shit feels fucking good 
you know when you when you when you when you when you horny and you're sexually frustrated you 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 start you start doing you start having crazy thoughts not not saying that i'm that i'm thinking crazy or anything i mean you know people may think getting a sex doll is crazy but i mean i guess that's subjective but you know i just decided you know you know why not get a sex doll I, i've always heard people talking about how good you know how good they feel and i can actually agree that sex dolls feel fucking amazing you know so i just use that to pleasure myself you know as far as like as far as sex goes but at the end of the day y'all like i just want a companionship with an asian girl like that's all i want like i'm not i'm not expecting i don't want much i just want just a little bit of companionship with an asian girl a little bit of attention that's all i want y'all i don't want nothing i don't want nothing over the top i just want something just simple i just want a little asian i just want a little affection from an asian girl that's all that's all i want man but um I know I'll never be able to get that, but um, I'm gonna go ahead in this video, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short, so because I want I want to get me something to eat real quick before I, I want to get me something to eat before I go home. But um, yeah, y'all. I just wanted to make a little video real quick. I know it's a, I know I know I made made this video kind of long, but fuck it. You know, I just needed to get my uh my shit out man because i just need it i need to make video i need to start making videos again man because i i don't have nobody to talk to and i just need i just need a vent and trolls want to you know come on come on the video and and do whatever they do dislike the video talk shit or whatever i don't give a fuck man do what you do you know um but sometimes y'all like I ain't gonna lie like like I said I I, I didn't really want the re one of the reasons why I want didn't I want I didn't want to make videos anymore is because it was a time where I wanted to make a video where I w was kind of like I was going to like start like talking down about myself but I didn't and 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 I didn't want to go back to doing because I used to do like I used to make those type of videos in the past and I didn't want to go back to doing that shit again so. I just said fuck this i'm just not gonna make videos anymore but it's for me it's just not it's, it's unhealthy for me to not make to not make videos man because i don't have nobody to talk to i don't have nobody to express myself to so i gotta make videos i, I just have to you know if i don't make videos then i don't know i just i'm just i just don't have no way of expressing myself so i and i gotta express myself through video making videos so I'm gonna make videos y'all but you know whenever i have the moments where i feel like talking down about myself then i probably won't make a video i'll just try to like you know deal with it on my own because i don't i don't i really don't i'm trying my best to you know like like the guy um the rejected prince like he he don't i like his reason why i like his videos is because even though he's going through all this tfl shit, he don't talk down about himself he still keeps shit a little bit positive and that's what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm trying to kind of do the same thing. Because, like, before, when I used to make these types of videos, I would always stay on the negative side. And I'm trying to stay a little positive, even though it is kind of negative. But I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it a little, like, a little balanced. Like, I don't want it to be too negative. I don't want to be, like, on no Doomer, no Doomer type shit, you know. And, I, like I said, I don't really like using them black pill terms. Like, it's over and all that bullshit. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like using them using them terms and it never began and all this maxing shit like i don't i don't like using them, them terms so i'm just like i said i'm just a regular dude that just happened to that happened to be a part of the whole i guess black pill or, or whatever you want to call it movement so i mean like i said i don't i don't consider myself black pill tfl none of that shit i'm just like i said i'm just a regular dude that just has trouble has shitty luck with females that's all you know and i'm just a I'm, I'm just a regular dude that that you know that loves you know i'm a black dude that loves asian girls and i just can't get asian girls so but yeah man i'm gonna go ahead in this video y'all and um yeah man that's that's all i got y'all um See y'all in the next one.